Good evening, this is the Oscar Expert here, and it's time to review Broker. This is the newest film from Hirokazu Koreeda, and it follows a couple of guys who have a baby drop-off box where people can put their unwanted babies, and then the two make a profit selling the babies. They are baby brokers. And in this movie, we follow them making one such transaction with a baby, but this time the mother comes back and joins them on this road trip to find these babies' new parents. And it really is in the spirit of a road movie where we end up with this ragtag group of people who become a little bit more like a family as the movie goes on. Everybody in this group is in some way or another dealing with feelings of abandonment or is maybe making a decision to abandon. They're kind of misfits or lost souls. And as the movie goes on, we really get to sink in with each of these characters. It's kind of a slow build to some really powerful moments in the film's third act. There's one scene in particular where the characters are sitting on a Ferris wheel. And during this scene, I just was hearing sniffles all around me. I was totally choked up during this scene. It was easily, I think, the highlight of the movie. And this movie does offer a few moments that really hit hard emotionally. I loved every member of this cast. Song Kang Ho gives a very subdued, grounded performance here. Lee Ji Young, who I understand is also a K-pop star, is excellent here. Possibly the standout? I mean, the Ferris wheel scene, in a way, kind of belongs to her. Also kind of to Don Wang Gong, who's also excellent. And the little kid. Can't find the actor's name on IMDb for some reason, but the, the boy in this movie is just adorable. Donna Bay is very good too, although I sort of struggled with what the movie was trying to do with her character. I'm not sure that that character's payoff worked perfectly for me, but the ensemble here overall was really great. And we grow to love each and every character in this movie. The strength of this movie lies in Coriata's empathy for these characters. They all commit, you know, illegal or immoral acts, but we understand them, we care for them. It's a really, really sweet movie. movie. Having um, recently watched Shoplifters before this one, I have to say this movie felt really similar, especially with the theme of like chosen family. It's different enough to justify existing for sure, but I was maybe less taken aback with this movie when compared to that one because I'd felt like I'd kind of seen it before. So that might have kept me from absolutely loving this movie, but it has a couple scenes that are some of the best I think we'll see this year. And I'll probably remember those scenes individually a little bit more so than the whole film. Maybe that would change if I watched it again, who knows? Some of you probably wanna know if I think that this is gonna be one of the bigger international Oscar contenders this year. I think it could definitely be an international feature contender, there's no doubt about that. I'd probably make the same argument awards-wise about this movie that I did with A Hero last year, which is that it's another very good film from a director who's working well within like their wheelhouse. So if this director's not doing anything radically different from what they've done in the past, I don't see why this movie would suddenly get the attention of the Academy outside of international feature. Despite the fact that I could see an argument being made that this director is overdue. And Song Kang Ho, you know, he did win Best Actor. It is a very good performance, but nothing about the performance struck me as like, oh, this is gonna get him in the Oscar conversation. Like, he is not doing anything Oscar Beatty here. I give Broker an eight out of 10. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. How much were you worth as a baby?